for us, he's our, he's our family. 12-year-old Ronnie can be seen smiling and laughing with his family at holidays and sporting events. But these family photos came together after tragedy. On March 18, 2018, Ronnie's mother and nine-year-old sister were murdered at the hands of his father. Then eight-year-old Ronnie was stabbed and burned. Corporal Mike Blair responded to the scene. We were told that there was um, one, there was a child being medevaced to Tampa General, but he was not expected to live. A few weeks later, Mike visited him in the hospital. And he kind of held onto my hand and as I left, and he said, could you watch a movie with me? And I said, no, I can't, I gotta go back to work. And I, I said, how about I'll come back and watch a movie with you tonight? And um, he said, okay. And then he went back to sleep because he was on a lot of painkillers and medication. And so I called my wife and I, we were planning to go on a date night that night. And I said, hey, instead of doing date night, do you mind if we go watch a movie with this kid? I had already known that, that I would want to take Ronnie home with us starting that night. But it would be five more months before the Blairs would go from a family of seven to eight. When Rachel called me, who was the guardian and litem, she, she said, hey, you know, um, this is who I am, blah, blah, blah. And I said, um, she said, do you know anybody? And I'm like, yeah. I said, well, we'll take him. And she kind of was like, excuse me? I said, just bring him to our house. And she's like, are you serious? And I said, yeah. And she says, well, do you think you should talk to your wife first? And I said, oh yeah, I should probably give her a call. It was a call that became a calling. Mike and Danielle adopted Ronnie in 2019. I go like a different church. I have a different brother and a sister. I have a different mom and dad. I'm like, I, I have a different house. Um, it's pretty cool to be with them. He wants you to know that when he thinks about his mom and sister, there are a lot of good memories. She was nice, placed me on a swing, made me some good wings, made me all type of food, and uh, she was just a good mom. My sister, she couldn't talk, but she still like, she still like could um, move her head and say like, we used to do sign language. She was very nice. He knows he has a story that has been written for him. He also knows that he doesn't want to be defined by that story. Ronnie loves science, playing with his brother, and wants to be an actor when he grows up. Mom and dad say anything is possible. We established kind of a, a um, mantra for him that he, to this day, if you were to ask him what's, what is, what are the, what's the mantra that you live by, as it goes to the family, and it's I am safe, I am loved, and I'm part of this family. They're really nice people, one of the best moms and dads. They take care of me, and uh, there's no one else better than them. Ronnie, you are not only an extended part of our Team HCSO family, by way of your dad and uncle, you are an immediate member of the family because of the qualities you possess as a young man. Your strength and resilience are characteristics that all of the men and women have at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. We look forward to watching you grow up and we will be here for you every step of the way.